<laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hi friends, hello, good evening, and welcome to my page. My name is Tammy Neff, and you're on my page called Tammy Loves Vintage. And I'm here just a couple of minutes early uh, waiting to get into an event that's going on. Uh, it's been going on all weekend. It's called All Things Thrifted, uh, Vintage, All Things Vintage and Thrifted. And it's a, uh, it's a marketplace uh, DIY event for the weekend. We had a sale, um, we had a sale on Friday, uh, and it was every 45 minutes with somebody else selling. And then yesterday and today has been every half hour, a new, um, a new person making something fabulous. So my time's coming up here. I've got another minute or so. So I'm just here uh, for whenever she's ready to share me over. Hello, Misty. Good evening to you, the Crafty Farmers. I watched your project. Just, uh, oh wait, you're up next. Wait, you're after me. I, I'm sorry, yeah, right? Misty, you're after me. So yeah, so everybody <laughs> stay on here. I'm like, wait a minute. That's familiar to me. Yes, Misty, you're on after me. I'm sorry. I've been watching so many people. You probably have to. <laughs> it's hard to keep everybody straight. Yes, that's why you were familiar to me. So, so I have my mat here and I'm ready. Um, just kind of watching. Hey, Tammy, just kind of watching for everybody to get here. Yes, you're after me. That's what I, <laughs> after I said that, I thought, wait a minute. That's not right. I'm going to watch your craft. <laughs> I hate that word craft. I feel like it's not a craft. I don't know. There's crafts and then there's crafts, right? I would need to come up with a new word. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Hi. I put these things on so I can see you a little bit farther. Hi, Debbie. Long time no see. Gee, I feel like, hey, there's Jeremiah Dreams. Hi, you guys. Everybody's coming in. Hey, Deborah. Um, yeah, I feel like I've been on several times here the last couple of days. I was gone for about a month to see my new grandbaby. Um, craft for yes, ma'am. I've been trying to watch it. Me too. It is. It is for sure. Um, hey, there's Chasada. Okay, I think we're ready to roll. So, yep, it looks like we're ready to roll. So, here we go. Um, had fun chatting with you though for a minute. So, hi, you guys. Hello and welcome. Uh, welcome to my page. It's called Tammy Loves Vintage, and my name is Tammy Neff. Um, so, <laughs> if you ever forget my name, it's always at the top. <laughs> You'll be able to remember. So um, tonight, um, well, first of all, before I get started, thank you, Tracy. Like, I'm just in awe of everything that you have done for this event. Um, it's just, it's just amazing in your advertising and all your graphics and your just everything. It's just very impressive. It's my first time with her, and I know a lot of you. I see everybody else in craft around the clock and all of that stuff, and I just I never felt never felt worthy, so I never tried. And then when she reached out to me, I about fell off my chair. <laughs> so, and now that I'm here, I am like, wow, <laughs> she's amazing. So you guys, uh, it's my turn. We've got a half hour. Let's see what we can make. I have some old wood shoes, as I totally promised you. Thanks for sprinkling. Uh, as I totally promised uh, the other night at my sale, I sold a couple of shoes and um, I had a lady message me begging me for a shoe. So I found a shoe for her and we're going to do up some old wooden shoes here tonight. I have this really cool one. Usually, typically a shoe is like this. Like this is an old wooden shoe and they're just flat on the bottom and then not and they come in all sizes. Like here's a smaller one. They make baby ones, little teeny tiny ones. They're absolutely adorable. Oh, you're kidding. Tomorrow enough I happen to see that. You guys, I'm oh, you've been waiting all day. If I watch comments, we're going to run out of time. So Please don't think that I'm rude. I'm going to just keep going, and I promise you when I'm all done, Randy's getting the basement warmed up, and we're going to sit and watch um, 1883 uh, or 1923, whichever. We kind of started the one, and we heard the other one was better, whatever. So anyway, I'm going to be flipping through your comments then, and I'll answer all of your questions until Facebook shuts me down. I can only answer 100, so I'm probably going to do a lot of liking, just so you know I saw your comment. So here we go. I found this, which is, it's actually, oh, I don't, I didn't, oh, well, I don't want to show you that one just yet. So this is a high heel type shoe. You can see the difference. 
that it that it's not flat and someone creatively added an old spool to the bottom of this old shoe and I thought that was really ingenious and it's the perfect height it makes the shoe sit perfectly so well, I can't get you down I got you too high um, you know double chin stuff I keep you up <laughs> so <laughs> Let's be honest, we're all friends, right? We're in a big circle of friends. So anyway, um, I'll show you pictures of this so you'll be able to see it. Um, you, all you guys are talking about the show. Yes, I've heard that, they, that it's really good. So here's another one that I found is I've been on a quest for old shoes. And um, this one also had the spool on it. So now the high heeled shoes aren't quite as unique as they used to be to me because course I'm just gathering up shoes wherever I can so one thing um, that I want to show you too there's a secret with old wood um, like your mineral oil that is um, like laxative mineral oil works great on your breadboards and and that kind of thing is they're food safe this is a hemp oil I just I, I used to have a store called Tammy loves and in my store we carry country chic paint and this is hemp oil from my store. And I just, every time I show this, everyone's like, whoa. But really any hemp oil will work. Um, mineral oil is a great investment. If you have breadboards, I would go that route. Um, but anyway, so let me just show you what one swipe. So see this shoe, this is how it came. And I'm just sure, yep, I knew it. See, let me, let me get one side done and show you guys. So if you, even furniture, like if you have furniture and you need to do this, look at the difference in the hemp oil and the knot. So this was, this was awesome and, and know that it's just oil. So it's, it's like pledge, you know, like a pledge product. So it's going to sink in and, um, get dry again. So you'll have to re-oil it, you know, every, I don't know, whenever it looks dull, once a year, every six months, whatever. Um, just one day you'll look at it and say, gee, that, I think that needs a little zhuzhing. So anyway, that's what hemp oil can do. And I wanted to make sure I remembered to show you guys that. Now the project that I'm going to do tonight, I'm not going to oil yet because I want to add, I'm going to try to add a little transfer to it. And we're going to jazz up some of these shoes, however much I have time for. Um, I'm doing great. So I have just some words. This is from, um, a, a, it's an old transfer that I've cut up a thousand times. This is all that I have left. It was from Hocus Pocus on Amazon. And um, it's just some words. And they, the shoes already, most of them, I try to buy them with words. Um, sometimes when I'm out, like this one doesn't have any words on it. But it was cool because it was a high heel. This one has tons of letters and numbers and all of that thing. This one has some. <clears throat> but I really like to buy that um, when they have, you can see. So, uh, and then sometimes they even have, like this one has um, Stuart and Potter. Uh, I can't read it all. It's kind of smeared, but it even has like the store name on it. Sometimes it'll have, like I had a shoe once and it said Mary on it. So it, they put, you know, whoever the, the shoe was made for. <coughs> so that's kind of cool. So anyway, you can put these transfers on. But if you're going to oil up your shoe, you'll want to you'll want to get your transfers on first. Um, I did. I've done two shoes now. I did one on my own just for fun and to see what would happen. And I did one in my private group, and um, I just loved how it turned out. And those of you that have been following me, you know that I have a a small house. We're thinking about downsizing too, and I have my shoe that I made. Here, but I don't have one over there and I kind of I kind of want one over there so anyway I'm just using this stick to put a few words on there just like that so it's just a little bit of writing just to add a little bit of something something to it <coughs> As I get to talk and I always start coughing okay and then let's do the same thing with this one and I feel like there is a side, like I'm, I'm kind of decorating the outside of the shoe instead of the inside of the shoe. Hi, you guys. Hey, Stephanie. So, um, so let's do a little bit more here. Again, this was a fantastic, I loved this, this, um, transfer. It had neutral flowers. They were all neutral, creamy, 
Um, it had clocks and um, I've linked it in my Amazon shop in my link tree at the top. Um, if you know how to do that, if you know how to look through that. Um, it's a good one, but I don't care if these hit and miss or if they're off a little bit because the whole point is to be old. So um, I'm, I feel like I should show you my shoe, <laughs> my shoe that I've already done, my two shoes. The one I did for Christmas and I left it out for Valentine's Day. And sometimes I feel like just, you know, crafting, like I feel like, oh, it's probably not all that great. But then when I get done, I'm like, dang, I really like that. Um... I would never pay more than $20. That's usually what I'm able to sell them for. <coughs> um, and then anything under that, whatever you can find them for is a great deal. I found them as low as $3 and um, up and up. Um, so let me, I'm going to show you the one that I made in my group just to let you guys see why I want you to hang around. I added a key. I did the flowers. I painted a little bit. I did some of a transfer on there and this is just a flat bottom shoe and this has been on my mantle and I've absolutely loved it and I miss having it over at the other place. Then at Christmas time, I wanted to make, and I, I made sure to do it to where if I need to you know, if a display requires the other way, it was kind of pretty on the other side too. So I always make sure you do kind of all the way around things. Um, <clears throat> so here we go. This is the one that I made at Christmas time. And it's been in the kitchen at the little house and I didn't show you that on the camera. So this is one that it's a high heel when you put the toe down. See how high up it wants to, you can't really tell, but it's, it's a, tippy toe one and it was like the first one I've ever found and I loved it and um, so I just added some Christmas stuff I didn't do any stencils or transfers or painting or anything like that I just let the decor work and then this has been sitting here's the other side and this has been sitting out in my kitchen at the little house um, so anyway I want to make another one for um, for us to um, enjoy here. So let's do a little bit of painting before I get too far along. Make sure I'm okay with the time. So yes, I believe that that's what they are, but they're like molds, um, shoe molds, old molds. Um, they're wooden and uh, yeah. Oh shoot, this was my leaf paint. Oh well, there it is, my water getting into it. Eh, this is my leaf brush. Let's see here if I can pull it off. I'm just going to do simple little happy little <laughs> flowers. I am no painter. I can see all of you girls that are artists. I'm like, oh my gosh, how do they do that? Um, this is not the brush I want. Ah. So we're just going to do just some, you know, kind of little, I don't want to ruin it, but just some little swoopy like that. Okay. Just some wispy little boop, 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 boops like that. And then let me make it just a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm just booping. <laughs> making, a little, making a little swoopy swoops. So, can you, can you see me? I don't know if you can see me. Oh, this is nerve wracking. You guys try doing something that you don't do very well in front of people. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna pretend that hole's not there. We're gonna do another. And then you don't wanna do even numbers, so maybe we'll do just a little bud over here. Just like a little better quit. It's going to get too big. Oh, I like the bud. Let's do another little bud up here. Okay. So there's my flowers. Just a little puddle of flowers there. No big deal. Just easy. You can see I used a liner brush and I just boop, boop, boop. I just did lines. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of yellow, dip it in a little bit of water so that it moves around a little bit. And I'm just going to add like some yellow here at the bottom, almost like where it's going to attach to the, um, to the leaf, the stem. And then if I can get it thin enough here, oh, I don't know. Oh, it's dipped in the water. I kind of want, just want to put a little bit of color through it. Just a little, yeah, just a little bit, just to tone down the creamy. I'm using country chic paint. The yellow is called, um, um, uh, the yellow is called fresh mustard 
and the cream is called cheesecake and the green is called rustic charm. So here we're gonna go in with the green. Again, I have it almost dripping off of my brush. See, it's ready to drip. So I added water so that I could do lines. And so I'm just gonna pull a line down here. Can you, can you see? I don't know if you can see. Um, we could, oh, it's quiet. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm just doing some lines. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I could have done a transfer. I thought about like a flowery transfer, but to be honest, there wasn't a small enough transfer that I really liked um, that was in my Woods and Whites family. So I'm just trying to make a couple of little leaves there. Um, ooh, that's a mistake. So let's turn that into a leaf. And let me see if I can get a little leaf over here. And then, okay, so here's where we are. <clears throat> and so then, oh, I hope you don't think I'm ruining it. Um, so then to the leaves and the stems, I'm just to add just a little bit of white here just to give it a little depth. Um, I should have probably just mix my paint as I went, but wasn't confident enough. We'll see, I just kind of messed up. Let me show you where I feel like I messed up right there my lines weren't going in a true uh, plant method I either could turn that into a oh, maybe I should well I think it'll be fine um, okay and then I need to add just a teeny bit of white here I hate this I hate you guys can't see it. I didn't think about that so maybe we won't paint any more out so there's that you can see just a simple easy little painting and um, then don't be afraid of that you know why this is just chalk paint so if you don't like it you can take away you can just wash it away it'll, it'll just go away but I think just that little pop of color um, once I get my flowers in here that'll kind of explain it so <clears throat> okay and then what and then as soon as this dries we can hemp oil it so let me see here I brought <laughs> I loaded in some greenery from the from my crafting stash I've got some Oh, I added some pine cones there too. And I love this little tiny stuff. If you ever see this little tiny stuff, grab some. It's really good. And this, these are little balls. I don't try, I'm trying to go for texture. So I was looking for texture and color and all of that. I love this little wispy leaf here. So then I'm just gonna start, I saw so many of you did arrangements and I thought, oh no, I'm doing an arrangement too. I hope you guys are okay with that. <clears throat> like, they're all different. Everybody's arrangements are different. <clears throat> so I think it's hard to have that many people crafting at the same time and be different. I kept watching and saying, oh, please don't do a shoe. Please don't do a shoe. <laughs> I was really hoping no one would do a shoe. And I don't think anybody did. No one that I saw anyway. And I pretty much, I think I pretty much saw everybody. Um, I might not have ever watched the whole thing, but I at least popped in enough to say hey and see what they were doing. So, okay. So there, this, so I'm starting to where it's going to be pretty on both sides. Kind of looks like an airplane right now, but we're going to get it. We're going to get it. It'll be real pretty. <laughs> okay. Oh, here, this is kind of neat with the variegated, um, but yeah, that, I'm going to add it over here. You can't go wrong. All, so all of these greens are just um, greens from wreaths that I've made or flower arrangements that I've made. Or if you're at a yard sale and you see something that's got some good greenery in it, but you know you hate the vase and it's only $3, get it, cut it up, and I keep it in one of those plastic tubs. And so I have greens and I have florals. And so that's what this is out of the greens. Um, <clears throat> and it, so it's all just kind of scrappy stuff. All kind of just just some scraps. Let's see here. I may stand that. Oh yeah, I like, kind of like that. Let's stand that one up. And then we're gonna fill it all in with flowers. Okay. We're gonna slather some glue on there, standing it straight up. This this one here came from Hobby Lobby. It's it's pretty new. I might have snipped something off of it, but I use them a lot. So <clears throat> these little ferns. Um, oh, here's a little wisteria. Do we got room for that? Let's see. I think we probably do. Oh, yeah. And I love that it's dark. I love to do dark and light. 
you know, all it kind of just makes you see the textures. If everything's the same, then it all looks the same. And with this, I'm all, I mean, I'm adding tiny little snippets of each thing, but yet everything is standing on its own because it's all different colors. Okay, so there's where we are. Oh, that's kind of out of place. Let me add another little something over that. Yeah, let me add this plain one. It's a little out of place. It won't be once I get the flowers on, but it feels a little out of place right now. So there, I just toned it down by adding another little piece of ivy over top. Okay, <clears throat> and then, oh, I've got another little piece here. I might just, I think I will. I think I will, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Oh, I see lots of words there. I definitely can't read that one right now, but I promise if you have a question or a comment or a thought, post it in there for me, um, and I promise you I will answer you, I promise. So there, I just tipped this little one here. I've got a variegated, so I've got three different shades of that going on. So now let's get the greens out of here. Let's bring over some flowers. And I just keep watching my time and I wanna run late. Okay, so with the flowers, I have, you know these at Hobby Lobby, they have them in hot pink and purple and yellow and all of the colors. They're great for like when I'm taking flowers to my grandma's graveside. I love these. Um, or in the summertime, I snip little branches off every now and again and stick it in my flower pots outside. When your flowers are starting to droop and get yucky, if you poke some of these down in the dirt, they're fantastic. But these were a little whiter than I wanted to go for the vintage feel. So <clears throat> let me show you what I did. I just steeped a little bit of water, hardly any, like you can bear, just hardly any, in a tea bag. I covered the bottom of this and then I stained, I dipped in some flowers. <clears throat> So these are the white flowers that I started with. These are the tea stained flowers. See how the, different they are? So I just did it so they might still be a little bit wet. But see how it just, they're still light and bright but they're, um, but they're softer maybe and not quite as harsh. So, and I could really even use, you know, a couple of each. Honestly, they're kind of, they kind of feel like two different flowers now. Like I could totally do that really so just a just an ideal for you if you you know like vintage and it's you know sometimes hard to get the right flower that's not too gold but see i could add just a pop of white in there just to be happy <laughs> so okay and then i did some bigger ones as well okay um these were all white white i don't know if i have any in there but you know what white looks like so let's see what we're going to use here i'm thinking i might just kind of cheat and pop in a big one um, just so I can keep them moving here. But yeah, I needed another, I needed a shoe for my other place. And so I thought I wanted to make a shoe. So when Tracy reached out about doing this, I was in Arizona, but I knew exactly, I'm like, oh my gosh, I know exactly what I'm gonna do because I wanted a shoe, I wanted a shoe for the other house. So it's perfect. So we downsize, then I'll have two shoes, so then I'll have to sell one of them to you guys. <laughs> I won't need two of them then. But right now, I, it looks good on my mantle, so I don't want to change it. Let me see what I got here. Yeah, so see, it's just, I'm just building it up with just a few. It didn't take much. Do you see that? It didn't take much at all. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to use any of the rest of this stuff. Let's get those out of here. Let's tie on a key. I want to add a nice key here. I've got to figure out exactly where... Um, I want the key to show up. So I've got some seam binding that I did the same thing. I dipped it in the tea and um, to, not tonight. I mean, I did this a while ago. And then you wad it all up to crinkle it up. It's um, seam binding and it's like really thin ribbon. If anyone needs a link for it, just let me know. I'm happy to get you a link and share this with you because if you follow me for very long, you'll understand that I use seam binding in just about every one of my uh, projects that I do. Okay, let me see, I might not have made it long enough. Kind of like I'm playing, I don't like that one. All right, let's keep, let me do some more because I might like it for something else, but I don't like it for this one. Let me get, let me get, I want it a little more floppy, so I need it longer than I thought. <clears throat> okay. All right, here we go. 
No, nope, now it's too long. <laughs> so I'm right back to where I was. Ah, I think I'm right back to where I was. What time is it? Oh my good. I'm not gonna be able to do all of the shoes, but at least I can do this one. And you guys can see. There we go. All right, that's better. I don't know if it's still exactly how I want it, but I like it like this, floppy. Oh, for goodness sake, hang on. I want it right. I want to get it right, you guys. All right, maybe I'll just make it too big, or make it not so thick. Okay, so you tie it, pull it back, tie it, pull it back, and then that way you can get it where you want, and that's better, that's better. So let's go with that. Okay, so I want to work a little bow in here, just like that. Yeah, just like that. So we put a little glue on her, a little dot. Shove it in here where it's mixed in with the flowers a little bit. Fluff it up a little bit. Let's tie our key off of it. Maybe I have <clears throat> one of those scraps that I just cut off. Let's tie a key on there. Because also that's something else that I do is add a key to just about everything that I make. Um, <clears throat> I add some sort of a skeleton key. So let's do that. There we go. Okay, then we're gonna add the key in here. Let's see how we want it exactly. And I'm just gonna hot glue it right up in with the bow, um, right up around. No one will ever know but you. And if you don't tell anybody, no one will know. I ain't telling anybody. <laughs> I ain't telling a soul. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. It's probably good right there. So let me tack this in up here and hold it down so that it catches just above that bow. And then do I need to cut that tail? I think I will because I think if I see it, it'll bug me. Okay. Fluff it out. There's our key. <clears throat> There's our key worked in. I may take the time, let's see what time is it? We're, we're getting a little bit short. I may take the time to add another key for this side so that no matter which way I turn it, I think I will. Oh, I don't, I don't wanna use that one. Mm, that one's too short, hang on. Let's do it together. We got time to whip out one more here. No matter which way I wanna turn my shoe, because you know, in your decor, you've gotta get it you gotta get it right. And if you need it, if you, oh my gosh, I may not be able to do it. Under pressure. Um, <clears throat> you want it to be just right. So it's like, oh, I wish I could turn it that way. I wanna make it to where I can. I can do anything with it I want to. Oh, for pity's sake. I am the worst bow tire tonight in the world. I'm just tying a tennis shoe bow. Good thing I'm not going anywhere. All right, let's see how that is. It's not great, but it'll do for a pinch. My pin, I feel like I'm in a pinch. Okay. All right. Let's cut that down a little bit more. Okay. Stick that in here. Got just a couple minutes. We're in good shape. I'm going to stick that in there like that. And then one of these strips. Let's do a longer strip so I don't have to sweat. Put that through. Tie the knot. You guys liking it? See, if I'd have been looking at comments, I never would have got it done. <clears throat> it's amazing how quickly time goes. I love this half hour time slot though. And I love the 45 minute time slot for the sale. It was great. It was really great. Get it done. Get in there and get it done. That's what I like. All right. So we're going to just tack it down again. Um, just like that. Hooking my glue in there. Hoping that grabs. And there you go. So now I have a key. I have a little key over here, <laughs> hiding in there. And then I have a little key over here. And then one thing I wanted to try and do, oh, I was gonna try the hemp oil real quick. I have two minutes. So I'm just gonna take this same hemp oil and just rub over it. I'm sure my paint's dry by now. 
and just give it a little bit of a shine. This shoe was in pretty good shape to begin with, but I want to just give it a little bit of shine. And then I'll shine this little spool down here. And then if I'd have been thinking, I'd have brought some of my handmade lace and try wrapping that around the heel. I don't know if it would be too distracting. Um, I think I would get a piece that's this color, um, you know, that's not white, white or creamy. I think I need a, a real um, rusty colored, but maybe just for a little, you know, I have a hard time with a plain spool. Even though I get it and it's the heel of a shoe, I just, I just want to see it. You know what I mean? I just want to put it on there and see it. But I did not think about it until I was here with you guys. So, and I don't, I don't have my craft stuff here except what I brought. So then if you've got a second little shoe, um, we hemp it up. Here, I got one minute left. Let's just wipe it down here, make it a little bit better. And then you could display your second shoe with it, or you could go, you know, however your stuff's gonna be. You could put a candle here, you could have a vase of something back here. But I think it'd be really great to work them both in your decor. So you guys, I gotta go. And up next is um, uh, um, the Crafty Farmer, Misty at the Crafty Farmers. Crafty Farmers. So you guys go catch her. It's it's 7.30. I got a roll. Thanks for watching. I hope you love the project and I hope you make your own someday. We'll see you later. Give me a follow. I'd love to have you. Bye-bye.